Oh, hi. I was just texting. Let's talk about texting for a moment. Some people say, well, I'm not the type of person that texts. I just don't like texting. Well, if that's the case, then you're the weird one because everybody is texting. It needs to be got over. Texting is one of those things that can be an evil both ways. If you never text uh, and you're the person that only wants to be on the phone, then you miss vital opportunities to flirt and connect and have fun. Uh, for example, you might send a text that says you looked cute today that you wouldn't want to make a phone call for. You wouldn't want to call someone up and go, you looked cute today. All right, bye. Weird. But with texting, you can send that text. It's easy. On the other extreme, of course, you have the person that texts 20 times a day and never calls. Um, that person is an idiot. Have you ever been on a date, for example, and found that having texted and texted and texted and thought you got close, you suddenly realize it's really awkward because you've never actually had a proper conversation with that person. Such are the dangers of texting. There are three things that I want to give you today. The first one, give value in your text messages. When you say, hey, what are you up to? Hey, it both shows that you're bored and boring at the same time. When you say, hey, what are you up to? It's the equivalent of you saying, please entertain me because I couldn't be bothered to think of anything interesting to send you. You entertain me. So what are some interesting things you can do by text? Well, one of them is sending a picture message. Pictures are great because you send a picture that reminds you of someone or in some way triggers a joke that you've both had or a memory. You send it to them with a little caption saying why you think it's relevant. I got a text message recently in the last couple of days that was a, a picture of a house and outside there was a sign that said Hussy House on the post box, uh, which was funny. It could either mean a cute little cottage or a whorehouse. Number two. What was number two, Jameson? Number two, eliminate some of the question marks in your text messages. I would much prefer to send someone a message saying, hey, I'm doing this thing this weekend, you should come, than saying, hey, what are you up to this weekend? Uh, do you wanna come and join us when we do blah, blah, blah. One of them shows uncertainty, one of them shows complete certainty. And just, you know, it's gonna be fun. Why would you even ask if they wanna come? Just tell them to come. You don't need to add the question mark and give them something to reject, just be assumptive. The certainty that comes with it communicates a much deeper level of confidence that you want someone to see in you. And number three, use text as a, as a way to assert your standards and to communicate your standards. I was on radio recently telling the story of uh, uh, someone I used to see in London. We would see casually each other. I was traveling. I wasn't living in London, okay? So stop judging. I was there now and again traveling. And I'd be like, hey, you want to get together? And I'd be like, I have an hour between these two meetings. Let's see each other. She said... Uh, I'm not really a one hour time slot kind of a girl. This was upon receiving a text message from me, she sent this. I'm not really a one hour time slot kind of a girl, but if you wanna take me on a date this week, that'd be lovely. She put a winky face at the end. Changes everything. It wasn't like, I'm not really a one hour time slot kind of a girl, so if you wanna take me on a date this weekend, that'd be lovely. It was a little wink, you know, a little cheeky. It was fine, it was playful. The tone was right, but the standard was there. That's a great text. Immediately, I saw her differently and the dynamic changed. So those are three things you can do. Add value, eliminate your questions, and show your standard through text messages. By the way, I have something a little special for you. A mini texting crash course that's complimentary. I'm gonna give it to you. I don't even wanna charge for it. I just wanna give it to you. These are literally nine texts that you can copy and paste from the document into your phone. If there's a guy that you're a friend of right now, but you want more with him, you can send him these texts. If there's someone that you're a lover of right now, you're casual, but you want more, you want a bit more commitment, you can send these texts. They will revive a situation that's gone cold if something has lost its edge or its passion. I hope you enjoy them. I enjoyed writing them. And in underneath each text, I explain why each one works and what the psychology is behind it. So here's how you get this guide. Go to ninetexts.com and it'll be there waiting. Ninetexts.com, I'll link it up under the video as well so you can click through and go straight through and start using those texts literally in the next few minutes. Pull up a guy from your phone book right now and send him one of the nine texts. That's what needs to happen straight after this video. Go.